Hello guys and welcome to this tutorial. I'm going to show how to create a MySQL database search script. Uh, we're going to be using two tables. Uh, okay, uh, this is how this script works. If I type in random, it returns two lines from my users table and two lines from my news table. Uh, so if I type in dude, one from news, and if I type in kills, it just shows this line here. Okay, so for your database, um, you probably have your tables inserted. I got a few lines here, and in this table too, uh, you need to modify the table, I mean uh, your database, both of the tables. So uh, click on SQL and type in alter table, this is news add full text to title and text ok um, this is it, just click ok and the same for users um, the reason I typed in title and text is because I want title and text to be uh, as full text <clears throat> you need to type in whatever row you want to have uh, so for news probably the same and for users I got here username so SQL and alter table users at full text to username okay done so as for code, uh, so uh, you don't need your PHP my admin anymore. So first, we include our connect.php. If you don't have it, uh, there's a tutorial about it in my registration tutorial. Now we need a form name equals search method equals post and action would be same I mean it would be empty so input type equals this is text and let's call this keyword okay um, you can add submit value search okay so this is it for the form oh we need to conclude it um as for php from now on we first need a f set um This is search so let's create a variable for our word keyword okay and now let's go to the queries we need a query one for our users table and query two for our new stable. Okay, first MySQL query select everything from users where match um, we have username against so this is where we add our uh, word. Uh, we need to type plus here. This means that oh, this means that uh, if the word that's in here, our keyword, is included in the text, it'll show up. If we type in minus, uh, it'll show up only the rows from database where the word isn't included. 
Okay, so plus and word. Okay. And this is oh the error is because of this query. Okay. Um we need to add in Boolean mode here. Uh, this means uh, Boolean mode is a uh, feature for MySQL searching. Okay, and let's order this by ID sending, probably. I don't know. And this is it for this query. And another query. This is news where match title and text if you want against plus word okay and again in boolean mode and let's order by id descending Mm -hmm. This is it for our queries. So let's start by query one. So uh, 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 let's create an echo. Oh, one while we need a while first. Uh, while fetch equals MySQL fetch for a query and let's echo those things out uh, I, I'll create it in diffs uh, don't use diffs if you have uh, if you want to display more than one I mean more than let's say 10 records diffs are they aren't so slow to load, but if there are many, they make the site slow. So, fetch, and let's echo out for users our username. Okay, and next line while fetch2 equals MySQL fetch source for query2. And the same. Oh, echo div and fetch two. And this is title. If you want to echo out your title, okay. Um, this is it. And uh, I'll show what we've done till now. So. Displays like this and random and dude. Okay, um, and for for yeah, we should add a if if MySQL num rows equal is more than zero. Let's say. And make an else we should echo oh echo uh, no search results mm, and same for this line oh results okay and so Oh, you can uh, create that by yourself. So, I'll show you what we've done. Okay, uh, if I type in kills, no search results for our users table and this result for our new table. So, if I type in dude, hmm, hmm. What's wrong here? If my scroll oh if my scroll number is four or query 
So and this should work now. Let's refresh. Kills. No, no search results, dude. And here you go. Okay. And this is it for this tutorial. Um, if you have any questions, just ask. If you want to create something more advanced, you can play with this code all you want. Okay, thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.